Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the concept of orthographic projection. The students who are facing the problem to understand the concept of orthographic projection, this video is especially for you. So here you will understand, here you can visualize the orthographic projection of the object. So you can see here one object is there and this is the isometric view of the object. This one is the front view. So let's see its front view from this direction. You can see this one is the now front view of the object. So here you can see the circular part is projected as a rectangle. Clearly you can see here. Like the students are getting confused ki how the circular part is a rectangle in the front view. So you can see here. And this part is hidden from the front view. So you can see in the front view now, the object is getting rotated. So you can see the front view of the object. So this is happening because the projections are parallel to each other. The projections are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of projection in orthographic projection. Right? So now we'll see the top view of the object. So this one is the front view with respect to this front with respect to this front now this is the top view of the object you can see this is top view of the object so in top view the circle is exactly a circle semicircle is there and inclined surface is also a rectangle in the top view this is the inclined surface right and you can see this blank area also which was hidden in the front view. Now you can see isometric view again. Now with respect to this front, we will see the side view of the object. This is the side view of the object. So if the projections are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of projection, this will be the side view of the object. So here you can see in the side view, three rectangles will be there. One, this middle one, two, and this one is three. Three rectangles will be there in the front view, sorry, side view. You can see now. In this base, three rectangles are there. This is inclined surface, which looks like a rectangle exactly. And these are the side rectangles. Now again you can see this is the sorry this is the isometric view in isometric view you can see all the three faces front top as well as the right side so this is front with respect to this front this one is right side view now again front and this is left side view from left side only one rectangle will be there remaining all the portion will be hidden from the left side in front so with respect to this front this will be the top view of the object so here we can say the orthographic projection is used to see the true shape and true size of the object so this video will surely help you to understand the concept of orthographic projection. You can see this again. This one is front. This one is right side view. This is front. And with respect to front, this is left side view. This is front. And with respect to this front, this is top view. You can see this is top view of the object. And this is the right side view of the object. If you want the dimensions of this object, you want the dimensions of this object, you can go to the orthographic projection playlist. Uh, one video I have already uploaded that how to prepare it on the drawing sheet. Like here you can visualize this. This is front. This is right. Right. Here you can visualize this object and how to draw this in on grid sheet or manually. You can go to the orthographic projection playlist. One video is already there with all the dimensions. Still, in case if you have any doubt or any question, 
प्लीज पोस्ट यूर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच